Cherry Elderflower. A girlfriend that likes to swim. Oh, Cody has had a couple of girlfriends at the dog park. But Cody is not a swimmer. He cannot swim well. In the sunshine. Yes, who's sleeping in the sunshine this morning? And your blankies, huh? And I got all my labels printed and my stationery ready to print my Christmas letters. And update on my blanket progress. You can see that I have my stitch markers kind of marking recent progress. So when I first picked it up, I was here. And then when I showed you last, it was at the little pumpkin. And now just in the last weekend, it was at the taco. So I've definitely added a bit yesterday and Friday. Yeah, I like how it's I like how it's turning out. It's always interesting when you get back away from it to see how your colors are playing together, but yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm in the office as usual. I came in here to check emails. I had to answer a couple of people's questions about um, patterns and my new sock collection this morning. I've been posting lots of stuff over on Instagram. Um, right before lunch, Ross cooked a big breakfast, which for us is scrambled eggs, a little bacon. Um, I eat my scrambled eggs on a, like a toast sandwich. <laughs> And he usually has bacon sandwich and eats his eggs on the side. But it's one of the things that he knows how to make. Although he kind of likes to kill the eggs. Like, scramble them till they're dead. He overcooks everything. He, he's a little paranoid about things being not done. But he wants to learn and then I'm happy to let him try and and see how it goes he he would really like to learn how he he just never grew up cooking and I have done it for the last 30 some years mostly and he really has never helped much um, but he was also working long days with a big commute and so even as a teacher I would get home hours before him and uh, so he's trying I want to talk to you a little bit this morning about why I am not opening a yarn advent calendar. No one has asked, <laughs> but I'm thinking some of you might be wondering why I'm opening jam and dog treats and not an advent. And it's because I have a thousand minis. No, not a thousand. I have hundreds of minis and I'm going to do a little video of all of them. I just could not justify, although I would love a Chelsea Yarns Advent, I would love a Suburban Stitcher Advent, I would love, <laughs> there are so many out there, but I, I just couldn't, I have so many minis that are beautiful to knit with, and so I just decided, nope, you're not ordering one this year, you don't need to have one, you have, I have stuff to design with, um, and I'm not knitting for myself or family as much as I was before. Once I started designing so prolifically, I just, my, you know, number of things that I can get done myself has gone way down. And I just wanted to grow this little business, so I pushed really hard. And, you know, when you sell $6 patterns, their shelf life is about two weeks, right? People will go back later and maybe buy a pattern or two, but the most patterns you sell are going to be in the first two weeks that you publicize it. Then it goes off people's radar and it's not, you know, I mean, there are other big name designers out there and kind of the same thing with them. They sell more up front and more over time than I do, but I just have patterns just trickle in in sales when I don't have a pattern release. So Putting out a lot of patterns was important to me. I really wanted to 
put a big number out there so that I get more eyes on the original, you know, uploads. I have a new pattern coming out on the podcast a week from Monday. Um, I will record and then share it that. is the advent kit from kingdom fleece and fiberworks where she did spinning bumps two a week i think one a week two ounces something like that um, i didn't get the kit because i don't spin so she spun up yarn for me and then i designed a pattern with that yarn that was not the colorways that were in the kit so um, i will be sharing that on the podcast i also knitted up in not hand spun yarn in two samples so i'll be showing that and then that's my last one. It came out for people December 1st that bought the kit, right? They've already got the pattern, but we it needed to be a surprise. They needed to be able to open their kits without me sharing first. So um, I will be doing that even though I'm not working on that pattern right now, usually. <laughs> I'm working right up till that deadline. So then after the first of the year, I have nothing in my queue to design until... Um, the Minnesota Shop Pop. I was asked by the local yarn store and we're just in the talking stages of that and the Shop Pop in Minnesota, you all want to put it on your calendar, is the first weekend in April. Um, it runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and there are uh, usually about 15 stores that participate and you have the four days to go to all 15 shops. So we usually do it in two days. I've, sh I've done videos, I've talked about it on the podcast before, but at each shop you get a free pattern. And then you can buy, purchase the yarn that they have specially custom made for that event. And so I'm, I'm in talks to do that one. And then, like I said, I have um, these two proposals that I can do for Miss Babs and La Bienemy. Um, But I haven't been, and then I, I have one way late next year. I've been asked to do one for way late next year that I'm pretty excited about. Other than that, I am just going to um, do some knitting today. I did get all those files cleaned out last night. Yay! That has been on my list. I have a huge to-do list. Can I just show you? <laughs> my to-do list goes on and on and on and on. I keep notes in my phone of every, everything that needs to happen. Phone calls I need to make. Little jobs I need to do. And when I can, you know, chuck off three, two or three of those in a day, it's a good thing. So um, other than that, I am going to do some work and then I will show you those minis and I'll talk to you later. Here's the first jar of Advent minis from literally two years. I really want to do a design in a blanket out of those in this big orange jar. Here is a second jar of minis, all unused and not wound into balls. They're all just little freebies or ones that I collected. There's this box. So I have packages of minis in here. So one two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Love this set so much. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lovely. Ancient fiber arts. This one is mode knit. This one is mode knit stars hollow. These are just lovely. Look at how pretty those are. They have some sparkle. I got a Zen yarn garden. I have this Prismatic Minis from Sweet Georgia. 
And then I have this set, which is really dark and moody. And Canon Hand Eyes, with a complete rainbow. I have a little set here from Legacy Fiber Arts. So these that I threw over here are, this one was Leading Men Fiber Arts. This one was Knitterly Things, that's a mitten. One for mittens, I think. There's another Knitterly Things, more of a rainbow. Oh my gosh, look at those. That's a, another um, Gilmore Girls. This one is the Color Riot. And this one was a Hamilton. Okay, so now do you understand why I don't need an Advent mini skein set? I mean, I literally have been knitting for 35 years, maybe even a little longer. So I have collected yarn for years. And yes, I knit a lot of it up. I knit, I have a thousand projects on Ravelry, right? I knit a lot, but I cannot knit through what I have fast enough. So number one reason. I also have a tiny little video of my yarn closet. I have outgrown this closet and put some stuff in bigger boxes in the hall closet, but I'm hoping to get it pared back down to move into the little narrow, really tall closet in the office. So I'll show you that. It's neat and tidy, but there's not room for one more skein this year. It's even exploded out of the closet onto the floor. Well, I didn't video much this afternoon because what I decided to do was wrap presents. I brought everything out that I had. I have a huge pile of knitted items and usually what I do is knit cowls and hats and mittens and socks throughout the year and then at Christmas I lay them all out on my mother, my mom's uh, kitchen table. Big, she has a big uh, oval kitchen table. Um, and I just say, everybody take what they like. If somebody doesn't want something, fine. If you want to take more than one thing, fine. But I'm not going this year. I'm not going to my mom's. My mom and dad are going to come up here to pick up this little truck. We're working that out right now, I think. Um, so I have to figure out a way to let people pick. I may just take some pictures and just say, hey, text me if you want with whatever you want, and I'll mail it to you. My mom could take it all home, but she's only getting together with my one brother. My mom and dad are going to my brother's house, um, and they just have one daughter at, still at home. So I have to figure that out, but I wrapped presents for some knitting friends. I wrapped presents for um, Kylie and Stevie and Ross today, and I went up and down the stairs to the basement to bring up the wrapping paper and some empty you know, boxes and stuff. And my back really started bothering me. My right hip and back, oh. So I had to sit down to wrap. I was wrapping in the kitchen. I was sitting on the stool at the counter and that was better. And then a friend texted and said, hey, can we chat for a little bit? So, hi Bonnie. Um, so we chatted and that was great because I just sat in the chair and knit for a little while. And then I went back into the kitchen. We had taken turkey noodle soup out of the freezer for supper so we didn't have to cook because every space in the kitchen, the t table and the counters were all covered with wrapping and papers and all that. And I pretty much got that finished. I will put in a little picture here of all the knitted stuff I have to give this year. This is what's left of my mess. I have a few more things to do over there. And then this is some stuff to give away. I have a couple of pontinis here, a cowl, a cowl, a cowl, a cowl a hat and cowl set. I've shown most of this on the podcast. Um, a cowl, a cowl and hat, some mittens. I put May's stocking, I put her stocking, I got have candy in there and some soap. 
and then I wrapped some gifts over here for friends and then I have this here um, this is really cute wrapping paper and I have a ton of it so I'm using it all this year so I got those wrapped and those wrapped and then these are going to another house so I'm trying to keep that all separate and I did put the little white balls on the tree um, I've wrapped up two things for Kylie already she's getting that sweater that I showed on the podcast and then um, I have another surprise for her so I put it on my project page but I don't I don't think she'd go look and I'll, I'll tell you guys what I made later just in case she watches this anyway um, it's a thematic thing that she will really enjoy um, I have to I have a Christmas stocking that I have to pick the name off of um, I made Christmas stockings for my brother and his wife my younger brother and his wife when they were first married and their firstborn and then I made Christmas stockings for May and Jim Ross's mom and dad and I had gotten some of those stockings back because they didn't have um, use for them anymore when they downsized and so I would like to use one of those stockings for Stevie now because I knit them and I duplicate stitch the name on so I could take the name off but it doesn't match our stocking so ours are all green topped and green footed and this one is red so is that gonna make him feel left out I mean he hasn't married into our family yet but I do think that that's coming I don't know I could pick out the foot and re knit it in green I have a bag of yarn let me grab it so I have this bag in the basement of the yarns that I use for stockings and I could probably get more so I could probably knit him a whole one but I got other knitting to do so this is the stocking and mine are all green even Cody's matches <laughs> and so his wouldn't but I could just snip it right here and, and make it look, it would match a little better if it had a green foot and a red toe and nothing stitched on it, which wouldn't take me long because this is, you know, kind of heavy worsted yarn. So anyway, I'm thinking about doing that. I've been working on the blanket. I stayed up late last night. I knit on the blanket quite a bit. I haven't gotten much further on Kylie's mittens. <laughs> those are sitting here. So I could probably work on those tonight. Um, yeah, what time is it? It's getting late. I need to get this up, and I haven't finished editing. <sighs> now I know why Christina puts hers up <laughs> early. I was always like, gosh, she gets hers up so dang early. Now I know why. <laughs> I love when it pops up in your feed that someone's done theirs, but dang, I'm still recording at 9.30 at night. I mean, I know I have three hours left. But I got all the gifts up from for um, my knitting group. Um, from the basement and so those are in a bag I can see it from here that's why I'm thinking about it that's why I said it out loud um, and Ross edited the Christmas letter and the book list so I made his edits and sent it to Kylie and Stevie for approval so then I could run those off tomorrow I have book club and I haven't finished the book so I'm gonna sit here and listen to that instead of watching a movie tonight um, and then after that I have to go get a little mole checked out I had a little um, thing removed between my eyeballs many years ago and it was kind of precancerous so now I'm really careful I always go in and um, have body check and everything and I think this is a new mole kind of on my rib cage belly area it's raised so I have to do that tomorrow afternoon I'll probably take you along not to the exam but to the office <laughs> and yeah I have a new recipe, so I'll probably make that tomorrow. If I have time, I'll, I'll video it. I'm excited, it's super easy, and it looked really fun. I saw it on Instagram. Who shared it today? Who was it? Um, Dar Darcy does it, maybe? Is that who it was today? Oh. I can't remember, but I screenshot it and sent it to my computer, went in, looked it up. Ross was going to the grocery store. He picked up the stuff, so. 